Howdy folks, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna take a look at this module right here, the Diode Chaos from Zweb Modular. I built this at KnobCon and I did a video about it and several people asked, okay, so what does it do? And then I had a couple comments that people said they couldn't find a decent video online and such or a decent demo. So I'm gonna show that today. So this is a triple chaos generator. Each of these three jacks produces a different strain of chaos and then it has a trigger out too, which we'll cover later. Now to explain chaos, it's kind of like random, but it's different. And so we've got several modulation sources here. We've got some LFOs over here. We've got some looping envelopes here, and then we've got chaos in the middle. And I've got my oscilloscope here because I think the best way to illustrate this first is to see it and then to hear it. So let's start with the LFO. So as you can see over here on the LFO, it's very pattern-based. We see it go negative and then go positive and then go negative. It's very smooth and it's very much a pattern, okay? Let's check out the envelope. Okay, so now with our envelope, we can see that voltage is only positive. We're not seeing any negative voltage, but still we're seeing it ramp up and ramp down and ramp up and ramp down. It's just very smooth and predictable. Now let's see what happens when we plug it into the chaos module. Okay, so now we see this is not smooth and predictable at all. It's very chaotic. It doesn't really follow a pattern. It's definitely going positive and then negative again, and then positive again and then negative again, but in basically no real pattern. Well, these lights help you here, and you can see the three different types of chaos. So as it's moving up, you see over here, and as it's moving down, you'll see this one light, and so on and so forth. Okay, so now that we know what chaos looks like, let's hear what it sounds like. So up here out of the frame, and I apologize that you can't see it, but I've got two oscillators plugged into a mixer. So I'll bring the first one up. There you go. And the second one. So that's what they sound like just by themselves. Now, if I take these two blue cables and I plug them into these looping envelopes, and then I plug those into the pitches of the two oscillators, We can hear those oscillators following the envelopes. So very linear. What happens if I move one of them over to chaos? So now we hear one oscillator still moving very linearly and the other one moving very chaotically. Let's try both of them chaotic. So there we go. Now they're both acting extremely chaotic. All right, now, since we have three different forms of chaos, we can try this. Or this. Or this. Okay, now we still have this trigger output down here, so let's see what that does. So I'm gonna plug this yellow cable into the trigger output, and I'm gonna take the other end of it and plug it into a percussion module. So every time this light lights up, we should hear that module. And then again, we can do this, or this. And so there you go. That's what the Diode Chaos does. Now it also has a, a knob up here that controls sort of the rate or the interplay between the three types of chaos. So let's turn that. And we hear it gets a little different. Or let's turn it the other way. Ooh, that's kind of neat. Let's turn it the other way. So there's a lot you can do with this. Of course, I'm using it for audio just to illustrate, but you can use this to control anything in your rack, modulation sources, um, other LFOs, other envelopes, whatever you want. That is the Zweb Modular Diode Chaos.